You built an audience, you had nothing to sell them, and you just listened. Secrets for success. Mm -hmm. Best best secret. Best kept secret. Best kept. Listen. It's amazing how many people just want to create something because they think this is what people should have. Mm -hmm. But you aren't buying your thing. It's the people. This is Secrets for Success. Welcome to the Secrets for Success podcast. I'm your host, Greg Todd. I am so honored, so honored to have the Note Ninjas here with me. Now, this is great because we have a physical therapist and we have an occupational therapist. We have partnerships, and I talk about the power of partnerships all the time. You all are an image of what it is that I'm talking about, and I just want to welcome you both to the podcast. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so why don't you all give us a little bit of a backstory of uh, how long you've been in the profession, how did you guys meet, and uh, how did you get into this online world, and how the heck did you find me? Okay, go for it. (laughs) You should start this one. All right, I'll start with... I'll start how I found you. Yes. How about that? Okay. So I guess I found you seven years ago. So I used to do a lot of random online stuff, Mm -hmm. some network marketing, whatever. I heard you as a testimonial on another program, and I was like, oh my God, as a PT, I can do something online. Was it Shaleen? Yeah. Yeah. It was Marketing Impact Academy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy. And I was always like, I wish I did something that I could bring online. Like, what could I do? Maybe exercise, nutrition. And I seriously heard you say PT, and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. And yeah, wow. so seven years later. That know? is so crazy. I just talked so, with her uh, a couple days ago. When you brought up her name the other day, I'm like, if she comes next year, like, this is how I met you. I need to meet her. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> she's coming. She's going to fan girl so I, hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's coming. She okay. actually, so yeah. I went to her actually live event like a long time ago. Marketing Impact your Academy your Live. Testimonial made me yeah. buy her program. Wow. And I bought yours after. And then. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. Okay, so that's how you found out about me. Wonderful. All right, how about you? Well, I met Stephanie. Um, We worked together, and she just came in hot. She was like, I do this, this, and this, and this. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, nice to meet you too. Um, (laughs) I'm just an OT. Um, But I always like to do like some little things on the side. So I don't know, Steph and I just kind of like hit it off as just like, friends first we kind of we were working together so you all um, worked at the same uh hospital yeah or, yeah, again, yeah, same, yeah we worked for the same company yeah okay. yeah and then she kept bringing up your name um greg todd i was like who is this guy <laughs> and you, uh, you want to know so crazy <laughs> i i have done the before we did the secrets for success i did the hunt for greatness and i did wealth code secrets in my mind i'm doing these podcasts by myself so all the Thousands of videos, podcasts. Most of the time, I think nobody's listening. Like, I'm just talking to myself. When I'm doing the Instagram lives or whatever, I'm just talking to myself. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy, like, when I hear people are talking about you, like, how do you know me? So anyways, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's mind-blowing. So it you've is. been in my ear for the past seven years because, <laughs> because of her. Yeah, wow, That's crazy. So that's all crazy. good things, of course. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So you found out about me through Shaleen. And then you're like, all right, there is a possibility for me as a physical therapist to do something online. Would you all say that for both physical therapists and occupational therapists, doesn't everybody want to be able to have the ability to generate impact and income and not have to always be in front of somebody? Yeah. Right. Awesome. But would you also say that most people just don't believe it is possible, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like people tell us all the time they just they don't know how to do it, how to get started. Or they just don't think it's possible. Right. right. But we we're even saying even just something online, even right. if you still worked and treated, having that little extra bit of income, like right. it took us a while to build up and stuff. But even in the beginning, just paying off student loans, like something online, anybody can do it. Yeah. I, I think a lot of times people hear like you guys where you're making over six figures a year online and it just sounds so, so far fetched and so foreign. And I have to remember, at least for me, I remember the first time I made money online. For me, it was 2008. And that first dollar that came in, it was like mind blowing to me. Mm -hmm. Like people are paying for it. This is so cool. And like, yes, I've made millions, but 
it's the first dollar that to me was the most mind blowing mm-hmm. transaction. And I, I just I, I just think it's important that we continue to preach to people that this is the way for you to be able to impact people. And you all do it in a very unique way. Now, today you all are known together as the note ninjas, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But was that the first way that you actually started attempting to make money online? Oh, no. I tried a lot of things before that. <laughs> okay. So why don't we – this is the secrets for success. And I think it's important for people to understand what success really looks like and the path to success. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times people will think that, oh, yeah, here's what we did. We just created this way to be able to help people with their documentation. That's the first thing that came to our mind. We looked at each other when we were in the clinic trading all of our time for money, and then, poof, it just all worked. Can we tell them – the true path to success. Can you give us a few different things that you've tried? Oh, yeah. So I started out doing Beachbody. Mm-hmm. A lot of yep. people did years ago. And I was pretty good at it. Like, I yeah. have a pretty good team. That's mm-hmm. how I found Shalita and then you, really. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I started doing some women's health. Okay. And I liked it, but... So this kind of goes into how I was in the call. I like... I'm a very chatty person. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if I can work by myself. Right. So... I think that was part of the issue. I kind of needed somebody to like go off of, so things by myself just didn't work out as mm, well. Okay. I have a lot of ideas, and I need somebody to help me. So right. I did the women's health, and I did relatively well with it, but I just didn't have like the passion for it. Mm. It was up and down. I put a lot of work in without really that much like money on the side. I right. felt very stressed and alone, and I, don't know, I just didn't continue with it. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm like the writer, the con- the the creative person, okay. and I always liked, um, I always thought blogging was really really cool. But and I actually started a blog, I forget the name of it. It was something about like OT and like adaptive equipment in the kitchen. And like I, I started this, and she thought it was really cool. She's like, oh, okay, she's she's coming up with some some type of idea here. But I didn't. I mean, I maybe did it for like a few months, and then I'm like, yeah, this is way too much work to do on my own. Right. Um, and then I think I did like a few like freelance, like writing on the side. Um, but yeah, nothing really ever like, nothing stuck. (laughs) Did you all consider giving up the online quest? Really? Well, like I kind of quit a little bit and I guess it's my own thing, but I just, I don't know. I always had me to do something. I always wanted to. Right. I knew I just couldn't do just treating patients forever. So I think, you know, I probably took a couple months off until I had, like, my next idea. Your next idea. She took a few months off, but she would chirp in my ear, like, every single day. Like, every day right. with ideas. A million every different ideas. ideas. Right. Texting her, coming up with ideas. And mm-hmm. finally, she's like, now well, that's a good one. Wow. Mm-hmm. And was that one what you all are doing now? Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. This is the first thing we tried together. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it's important for uh, those listening for us to understand that. I believe God gives you that this is what's different from us than animals is that we have these ideas and we have these ability to create solutions and not every idea is going to turn into a bunch of impact and income, right? And you have to kind of go through the process. And if you look at your first thing that you did, it was Beachbody. Now, it might have made a little bit of income for you, but the reality is that Beachbody introduced you to Shaleen who introduced you to me, yeah. right? I mean, I learned a lot of things along the way. And you learned a lot great. of things. By the way, you know, I did Beach Body as well. I remember. I think yeah. that might have been on your thing too. <laughs> yeah. That's why I followed Yeah, it. so so I I was a Beach Body coach, and I was, uh, you know, I grew my organization in Beach Body pretty fast. I wasn't trying to, mm-hmm. but I had a million dollar practice, and I got to be honest with you, it was like, I, I was doing the pro- the products anyways, like they were amazing. So I might as well tell people about it. Anything that I love, I'm going to tell people about, right? And I didn't care if I got money for it or not. My upline coach was a girl named uh, uh, Jeanette Maceda. She was like, you realize you're making me all this money by telling people? Why don't you just become a coach? I was like, listen, I'm running my clinics. I don't got any time for that. And she's like, oh, no, all you got to do is this. All right. I was like, okay, fine. And uh, I became a diamond like in like a month or something like that. It was crazy, right? <laughs> so, but... Through Beachbody, here's what I learned. I learned systems. Mm -hmm. Like, I tell this to people all the time. Like, if you are afraid to start a business, 
just go with a network marketing company. And and as long as you go to a company that you have passion for, right, in anything that th there's passion there. And while you're there, learn systems. And I use the things that I learned in Beachbody. And that's what allowed me to actually pull out of my clinic because I had learned the systems from Beachbody and then I applied it into my business. So anyways, I say all that because your journey with Beachbody is what led you to what you're doing right now. And I think people think that their first idea, if it doesn't pan out, that, oh, like there's nothing to learn from it. But there's so many things that you won't know it until you continue on the path. Like, oh my gosh, if I never did that, this would have never happened. I would have never met that person and that would have happened and this and that and da 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 da, right? And so, the things I want to do, things I don't want to do. Right. I did too much like talking, like, I don't know, just the way I tried to do my women's health program just wasn't fulfilling. It was right. just too much and it was not making me happy. Right. So I knew things I didn't want to do too. I right. took some of the marketing strategies that yeah. we do now, but. And I had zero reason. business bone in my body. Right. Like, right. I just, that was just never going to be me. Right. I was always like, my path in life was either going to be, I was either going to be a teacher, a doctor, or, and then I found OT. So right, 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 somewhere right, in right. the middle there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. meeting Stephanie, like, she knew all this stuff about business from doing starting at Beachbody. Right, right, right. And it's so interesting that both of you felt as though you would be better off if you had a partner. So can we talk about that a little bit? Yes. Let's talk about <laughs> the power of partnerships and um, and what are some of the perks? If y'all don't mind, let's get real here. Oh, yeah. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. What are some of the perks of having a partner? I want to hear from you first, Stephanie. I think it, we are very good with we have to like finish each other's sentences. Like I swear we share a brain. Mm -hmm. I have a ton of ideas, like how I came in with all of our ideas. And I mm -hmm. seriously spit out 20, 30 at her through text, through this. I'm like, and sometimes I even catch myself though and be like, let me rethink this one for a couple of minutes. I'll yeah. resend if it's good. But like I do have a lot of ideas and I need a lot of things on paper too and just like brain like dump all over. Right. And she can make my brain make a lot of sense because okay. nobody else understands what that is. But for some reason she could figure it out and just organizes it and writes it right and like, I don't know. Wow. Makes it good. Have you guys ever read the book Rocket Fuel? Oh yeah. We just read that actually. So we told <laughs> us at your are, live event to do it. You are the visionary. Yeah. <laughs> And you were the integrator. Yep. Right? One hundred percent. Like wow. it, we read this and we were like texting each other like Oh my God, this is us. They wrote it about us. This wow. is crazy. But then it made me think I could give her more ideas. <laughs> like, ah! uh, I was like, oh, that's my job. That's awesome. Uh -huh. That's awesome. All right. What's some of the perks of partnership? So I think, um, so I know like Steph says that I put everything together, but she also does as well in like a different sense. Like mm -hmm. she's, like I said, the the business person. I'm like the creator. So I, I think of like, um, you know, I have like ideas for like this content and whatnot. But, like she knows how to like, implement it as in like putting it into business, doing all the sales, doing the lead, doing like, I didn't know when we first started, I had no idea that you needed to gather emails. I didn't right. know that was a thing. So she, she's like the brains on that. She's like, we need to do this. She's very business, right. business minded. Okay. Yeah. I love that. You know, we live in a time right now where I talk about the eras of wealth and right now we're currently in the era of partnerships. This is where the most new money is being created, the most new wealth is being created. And you all are showing that. You're showing that through, you have a certain skill set, and you have a certain skill set, but you don't have the skills that she has, and she doesn't have the skill set that you have. And, but together, you all are creating a little mini empire right now, which is really awesome, right? Okay, <laughs> can we talk about some of the bad? Some of the bad? Yeah, what's tough? <laughs> I guess you have to like go with the person too. Like I was ready to go faster for a while, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Oh no, we need to like do this, and I mm -hmm. can't do that." And I'm you're like, scared "I want to go." Scared of, you're scared to pay us all that money. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm, def yeah. I'm definitely the hesitant one. <laughs> I, I like to yeah. think of myself as the more logistical one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more like, "Let's take it like, let's take a deep breath, let's right, right, take right, a step right, back," right. and she's right. like, "Let's go, come on." Yeah. So I'm Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, "Just go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go," and then right. I don't have, well, my wife is not going to get someone that's like, oh, what are you doing, right? Okay, all right. Any other yes. tough things, would you say, in the partnership? I would say, I don't know. I think, I honestly, we've been very lucky. And I'm, like, saying this very honestly. Mm -hmm. We've been very lucky where we're, like, we always get to the same page. Mm -hmm. We might disagree. Like, of right. course we disagree. Right. But we always get to the same page. We always mm -hmm. find ways to compromise with each other and, like, all right, you want to do this? All right, let's make it work. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. 
I think what's really important with partnerships, so in Smart Success Healthcare, technically I am a 100% owner, right? But the, the way that I set it up here is all of my team have a, a certain stake in the business, right? And so um, I do have partnerships here. With Renewal Rehab, it's a 50-50 partnership. With Smart Virtual Staff, it's a technically a 50-50 partnership. I put up all the money, but I don't run any of the operations in any of those businesses anymore. I only help to run operations here, right? Uh, and I just feel like it's important to have checks and balances with somebody else. Uh, I think it's really important. It allows you to see things that you might be blind to. So, uh, so I really love, I love the partnership, and I think you guys are doing a great job with it. Okay. And it keeps you on track too. Yeah. You know, like I'm yeah. not gonna yeah. fall behind because of her. Like if I'm supposed to right. do my couple blogs a week or I'm supposed mm -hmm. to do whatever I'm supposed to do, like accountability. Right. Maybe I wouldn't do it if it was just me, but yeah. 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 I, I think that's a huge thing. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing that a lot of times we won't show up for ourselves, but we'll show up for our partner. Oh, for sure. Right? Yeah. Like there's days where it's like I don't necessarily want to show up, but I gotta show up for them. Right. And mm -hmm. so that's that's huge. That's huge. Okay, so you went on this journey. You were doing your adaptive equipment thing, kind of, <laughs> all right? You were doing your beach body stuff and then the woman's self and that way. <laughs> all right. And then now you find this idea, idea person over here. And you're like, oh, my gosh, she's good. And that started the no ninjas, right? So how long have you guys been doing this now? It's been about five years about five since years? we first decided on the note ninjas okay. and went with it. Okay. Um, so explain what you all do and who you serve. All right, so, well, should I start with that or how we started? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go, ahead, go ahead. All right, so when we first started, though, we decided we were just going to go on Instagram and just start posting things. Mm -hmm. And we had nothing to sell yet. And basically, for the first year, we didn't sell much. We did a couple of affiliate things, but right. that's it. And we basically just listened to the questions. People just started following us. We got so many followers, so many questions. And we just went with what they were asking. Maybe changed a little bit, but just basically answered everything. And what were the questions um, you were getting? What were the things people were asking for. People were just like, can I have a treatment idea for um, like balance or for hemiplegia or, mm -hmm. you know, and then they would be like, and then can you tell me how you document, you know, this activity? And so we just kind of listened for a whole year. We a pretty much listened just, yeah. and we built an audience very, very quickly because we listened and like immediately like took that feedback and applied it to oh. our Instagram. I want everybody to hear this now. You built an audience you had nothing to sell them, and you just listened. Secrets for success. Mm -hmm. That's best secret. All right, best kept secret. Right best there. kept. Right there. Listen, it's amazing how many people just want to create something because they think this is what people should have. Mm -hmm. But you aren't buying your thing. It's the people. And over that year, you were able to figure out what are the things that they actually need, and. And then let's talk about when you decided to actually monetize this. What happened? So it's kind of funny you want to tell it. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, you know, Stephanie just spitting out ideas. How are we going to make money? How are we going to make money? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then finally, we're like, let's come up with a, a balance treatment guide. Mm -hmm. We sold this balance treatment guide. You're going to die. For $10. Oh, gosh. We manually... <laughs> They would t they would buy they we would didn't buy the enough guide. money in to get like an email system that automatically sent more than one email. We did not realize we were gonna get so many people that bought it. So people started buying it, and we had to quickly send it back. To them. Yeah, we like recorded every yeah. single purchase. I think it was just through PayPal. So we literally had to ch keep checking PayPal like every. It, it went faster. We thought we were like, let's. We'll be happy if we get twenty sales. Oh, and we it was in a Google Doc too. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a Google so Doc. So we seriously Still did is. like nothing. A Google Doc, and we automatically just sent people the link to our Google Doc. So you you got more than twenty sales. We got. I think like I think we got like hundred and fifty the first day. Hundred and fifty the first day. Mm -hmm. Then we got an email. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, email. yeah. Then we decided to get an email. Okay. Yep. And then you decided to actually invest in an email uh -huh. system. Uh -huh. All right, but how cool was that? Oh my God, to basically we make uh, a hundred, you had a hundred, hundred and fifty, and you use yeah. ten bucks. Okay, mm -hmm. but that's fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, it's like wow, I made fifteen hundred dollars. And then she's like, "Well, we can't touch it though, because now we have to put it back into our business." <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now that's where the business sense comes into uh -huh. play. Right? You need to say, oh my gosh, we take that money and I'm going to run. Like I wanted to go right? shopping. You want to go shopping. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's, it's another huge 
thing that a lot of people don't understand. I want to, uh, you mind if I coach y'all real, real quick? <laughs> Where most people mess up, okay? So this is, this is how it works. They invest, right? And then they finally get a result, okay? For you all, it was 150 people paying you 10 bucks. $1,500, right? And then you're like, it's almost like playing blackjack. It's like, oh my gosh, we won a hand. Okay, I got to go to to cash out now. But if you're in this game, the entrepreneur game, you're supposed to now take that money and reinvest it. And most people stop because they get scared. And so you all reinvested it into actually getting a CRM. Good, good job. Okay. And then here's what happened. It never ends. It never ends, right? So when I made a thousand dollars and then I made ten thousand and I made fifteen, then I made twenty, then I made, you know, fifty, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, a million. You have to continue to do that or you'll never be able to catapult to that next level. So good job, kid. Good job. Good job. All right. Um, so that happened. And how did it start to transform from there, from that 150 people buying your $10 thing? So then the people wanted more. They wanted more. <laughs> they wanted more. They wanted another guide. And we listened. We asked. Yeah. We listened. And they wanted ADL. So we did an ADL treatment guide, and that to date is still one of our our highest, um, most profitable yeah. wow. products. Yeah, still a Google Doc. Yeah, mm-hmm. still, still a Google Doc. Still and a it's, Google Doc, right. and people love it. And people yeah, love great. it. Yeah. Right. I, I, you know, how many, how many people do you hear where they're like, oh my gosh, I have to have this perfect. I have to have it in this course platform and this and that. And I'm like, you guys, that's the last thing you need and to you know, do. And we told people we put in a Google Doc so we could keep updating it too, because that's a reason mm-hmm. to, right. you know, have yeah, it. Yeah, we, we, we actually know. originally, we made the guides and we didn't put any pictures and then we went back in and added because people yes. asked for pictures. So right. we, we added a full picture guide with it too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This right here, for those of you listening, this is a masterclass on how you actually build an online product. The key to building an online product that works is to not build it until the people tell you to build it. That right there is it, right? Like mm-hmm. you don't build it until the people tell you to. Whoa, well, no, nope. then what that actually means is that you actually have to serve the people long enough for the people to actually start communicating with you. You are not entitled for people to communicate with you. You have to earn it. You have to earn people to talk to you, right? I, I know, I, I, I don't like, you know, I've got a decent amount of followers now, but like Stephanie has been in my world for a long time. Like you are always watch my stories right away, right? Okay. <laughs> always, like I see it. Like, cause, because she was in Smart Success PT, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, like season five or something like that or four yeah. or something like that. It's a long time ago, it's like 2017. And so, so you, you have to earn that though. Mm-hmm. You have to earn giving people value and letting people talk and let them give you feedback before you sell anything, but once, you get that trust from them, they'll start to tell you, and every single thing you create, boom, you knock it out the park because you're not guessing anymore. So well done, that's really good. All right, so now it's led to what you're doing now, right? And now you're not just helping people with the ADL guide. Now you're not just helping them with just a Google Doc, you're doing more things, right? So then of course me with my bright ideas come in and I said, I'm listening to all these podcasts and all these people are saying, we need a membership. Yeah. We need something recurring every month, revenue. recurring <laughs> revenue, so we can make this a consistent income. Like, we need a membership. And she's like, well, I don't know. Then we have to, like, do it every month. And that's a lot of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a lot of commitment so, at yeah, the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before about we started. For a couple months before. And then finally, I think I'm like, listen. We got to do this. Yeah. Right. She's like, all right, it's time we do it. Okay. Now, this is another way of creating a 168. Okay. Uh, you can create it through a blog. You can create it through courses. You can create it through memberships. And that's what you all do. So let's talk about your membership. What does it entail? It is documentation. Yes. Yeah, so we have all these categories and it's on different like diagnoses such as dementia. We have stroke. We have arthritis in there. And then we also have just like... We have balance, we have upper extremity strengthening, lower extremity, all these different topics. Mm-hmm. Um, and under each of those, we have treatment ideas with videos, ways to modify those treatments, and then ex- tons of examples of how to document them. So we don't just give one, we usually give like 
three. Okay. Um, and then on top of that, we have a whole section for documentation templates. So these you go in and it's a whole, just there's templates for balance, um, ADLs. Like 20 ideas how to document almost anything. Different parts of transfers, different parts of dressing, like mm. just any kind of things that you can just take an impairment, copy and paste it to how your patient could be presenting. You can modify, but we seriously have almost every way your patient can be presenting. So wow. there's probably not much modification necessary, but and we keep it easy. Yes. That's yeah. what we say. Like continuing a lot of times they go on and on about like the past. Like I always like to say strokes. You know how mm. like they'll go on for like an hour about this part of the brain. Like you can Google that. It's important, but like you don't need that to treat right now. Right. We want you to open a tab and be like, oh, your patient's lacking shoulder range of motion. Here's evidence-based practice for it. Here's a video for like 15 seconds of what you could do, and here's how to modify mm. and document. Super wow. quick and easy and like used on the spot. How many people are inside your membership as active paying clients right now? So we currently have over 1,300. 1,300 people actively paying you month over month over month over month. What does that equate to income wise? So with that, we're about, it's about, just with our membership, it's about 20,000. About $20,000 yeah. a month in membership. You guys see the opportunities that are out there. There's so many amazing opportunities. They've taken this small niche of people and helping them with one specific problem and let me ask you something. Do people leave your membership? Do you guys have a mass exodus of it? No. A lot of you, people really no. stay. A lot of people stay. You want to know why? Because it's an amazing resource that people want access to all the time because they want to make sure that they are streamlining their documentation. Mm -hmm. So you all have kind of figured this out, right? And you have three steps that you typically are showing people on how to streamline their documentation. So, okay, why don't you go ahead and give me one of the steps? So we like to say our first step is a stairway to any goal achievement. So we mm -hmm. start with the patient-centered goal, and we have the different steps usually necessary to reach the goal. So we mm -hmm. have you know, the basics to going more advanced, and then the top, and then a goal. So okay. it's just like the way you strategize to think about it. Okay, I love it. I love it, love it. All right, step number two, what you got? Um, step number two, we have the toolkit for efficient documentation. Okay. And that's pretty much just our bank. Um, it's kind of similar to our, our templates. It's our bank of all these um, skilled terminology, skilled phrases, um, just um, the way the patient presents and all that, that okay. we have just readily available. Awesome, awesome. And then step number three? And then the third is just connecting the dots, okay. just having templates that connect the activity to the exact documentation. Right. You know, this is amazing because what you're doing with your three steps is basically saving people time. And time is the ultimate currency. If I can save you time, it's the one thing that I can't get more of. And so since I can't get more time, but I can get more money, I have to always uh, push myself to the one that I don't have the most resource. And so I will pay for more time by using money to pay for it. And that's what you all are doing for people. So well done, fantastic <laughs> job. All right, so um, 1,300 people inside your platform. There's a lot of therapists that are listening to the Secrets for Success podcast. So if they want to get into your world, what's a great way for them to start following you all? So there's a few ways they can follow us on Instagram at the Note Ninjas, mm -hmm. and um, they can also um, find our blog at www.thenoteninjas.com. Okay. We have a blog with tons, like any any topic in the therapy world that you can think of. We probably have something related to it. Okay. Um, and then all of our products on our store um, are on our website. So they as can well. buy this stuff here and get into this membership on that site. Yes. Right? Okay. Fantastic. Well, before we finish the podcast, can I say something about the two of you? Sure. Let me tell you this. <laughs> so um, you all have been in my world as I'm talking paid customers in my inner circle program for less than a half a year. But I want to tell the both of you that I love your partnership. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that you all are so different but it seems like you complement each other so well. The way y'all talk sometimes, I'm like, are they twins or something? <laughs> Finishing each other's sentences, this, that. It's such a beautiful thing. And the reason why I say, uh, yes, you all are helping people a lot with streamlining their documentation, 
But I think there's something bigger here. And I think it's showing the allied health world that you can actually partner with each other and life can be better if we work together and collaborate instead of being apart. And so um, I just felt like throughout my journey as a physical therapist, I, I just felt like I was on an island by myself. And I think maybe that's why I'm so big on trying to create this community because for my career, it was like, I felt like I was fighting. I was fighting against everybody else, you know? Uh, but I see what you all are doing and it's a beautiful thing. So I just want to honor you all for your partnership. Thank you. I'm so we proud of it. you. <laughs> yeah. right. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for being on the podcast and I appreciate it both of you. Thanks for thank having you. us. That was easy. Oh.